Good evening, everyone. Um, we have our second session tonight, and I'm glad that we're able to meet to be able to finalize our projects. The presentations take the same format. Um, presenters turn on their camera when they're sharing, and the class evaluates them on their presentation. So technically, the presenting group's grade is in your hands. We have a responsibility to grade each group. As I call your name tonight, just uh, respond, Shanelle. She's absent. Tidicha. Shanice. Juana. Tiana. Daniel. Present, Miss. Here, Miss. Vanetta. Here, Miss. Jalen. Present. Karen. Keisha. Here, Miss. Martha. Here, Miss. Shanika. Here, Miss. Zolmi. Zolmi is not here. Natasha. Here. Diona. Not here. Gabriel. Starla. Here. Jalen. Present. Annalie. Okay, Annalie is absent. All did right, so the person. Yes, I did. The persons I have marked absent are as follows Annalie, Zulmi, Karen, Juana, Shanice, Tadicha, and Shanalee. Did any of you come in after I called your name? All right. So Natasha, um, we're going to commence in a little while. Tonight we have Mr. Lewis with us. Um, how much time do you need, Mr. Lewis? Uh, just about 20, 25 minutes max, um, Ms. Okay. Ms. Ladin. So I will exit and then come back at seven, uh, 20 minutes later? Yes, that's fine. Let's say 7.30 should be fine. All right. And we will let you know when we're done. Um, you can make me host as well. Okay, let me go ahead and do that. Okay. Okay, good night, Ms. Lambe, and good night, classmates. Today, my group, Group 1, will be presenting on identifying opportunities for strategic information systems. My group members consist of Keisha Habit, Natasha Nicholas, Starla Renault, and myself, Daniel Faber. So first, we will start off with objectives. We have, um, in this PowerPoint, you shall be able to learn more about the University of Belize and how they use the web. Two, how UB uses information systems to make an impact on students' learning. Three, to distinguish between UB's business processes, culture, structures, environment, and business strategies. And four, find out how UB features contribute to the success and failure of the system and if the system is appropriate to use. Now, before we begin, we have to know the um, background about UB and how it came about. So on August 1st, 2000, the University of Belize was created from a merger of five institutions. The University College of Belize, the Belize Technical College, the Belize Teachers Training College, the Belize School of Nursing, and the Belize College of um, Agriculture. In 2004, the main campus was officially moved to Belmopan City, um, where UB now offers program from its main campus in Belmopan, and from three other locations, which is the Belize City Central Farm, and from its southern campus in Punta Gorda. UB also owns and manages two marine field stations at Calabash and Hunting Key. 
Next, we have Keisha Habit. Good night, everyone. Are you seeing me? <clears throat> we can see you. Okay. UB's president. <clears throat> the president of University of Belize is Dr. Vincent Palacio. In July 2021, it was announced that Dr. Palacio, the then Dean of the Faculty of Management and Social Science at the University of Belize, would be named interim president of the National University. One year later, Dr. Palacio has been confirmed as the president of the University of Belize. This comes right at, as UB celebrates its 22nd anniversary. Before the appointment of Dr. Palacio, the former president of, the, of UB was Professor Emeritus Clement Sankat, who served as president for four and a half years which ended on July 31st, 2021. Next, UB's structure. The University of Belize prides itself on delivering quality education at very high standard, standards and affordable rates. As the nation's leading educational and training institution, our accessibility is to enable nation development, academic advancement, and improve standards of living and quality of life for citizens of the region and beyond. Education is a journey and, at the, and the UB team is committed to ensure that you arrive at your destination, that you have a memorable experience and learning more about yourself and your world and your world ar around, along the way, sorry. Administrators, faculty and staff at UB realize that education is more than a series of classes, reading assessment, assignments and exams. Education is the vehicle for personal and social development and the means whereby students examine values and forge their identities, becoming successful individual and contributing members of their society. Good night, everyone. Continuing an overview of the culture and environment at UB. The University of Belize encourages a culture that is positive, inspirational, dynamic, and technology-oriented. The University of Belize promotes an environment that is innovative, open and honest communication, diversity, and inclusiveness. Continuing, we have um, just a picture of the University of Belize's website. Next, this is an overview of the student registration portal. We know as Zenegrade. Zenegrade is where students, we go to register for our online classes. So it's our online portals. We can download our graded reports. We can use the online payments that we use to pay for our courses, and it is a user-friendly software. Next, we have Moodle. Moodle is a course management system for distant learning, whereby students can access their courses. They can submit their assignments and do their tests. It is a flexible software, and it's very user-friendly. Finally, we have Google Sites for Education. Um, these are intricate softwares that are used to virtually share information with our group members. Um, it is a collaborative software and it is an uncomplicated software. Success rating for the information systems based on student 
based on students te and teachers' opinion out of five stars. So for Zenigrade, as Starla, well, Starla mentioned, you know, what we use Zenigrade for. The reason we actually took a star away from it is because every semester, every semester when we have to do our online registration, because there are so many students that have to register, the site gets bombarded and it actually starts to give an error and it takes you forever to log in to, to do your to do your online registration. And um, and also after you even after you finish putting your classes in a cart and going to check out, it gives another error because after that you you have to wait. There's a screen that pops up that tells you that you can't go back. You have to wait until it's completed, it's processing. You can't click that button again. Otherwise it will actually re, it will bill you again twice. For Moodle, it has one of, that's one of the same downfall for Moodle as well. Um, along with the fact that a disadvantage to Zenigrade and Moodle is if you do not pay your tuition to time, they actually, lock you out, you're not able to use these sites. And especially since Moodle is where we uh, go for our classes to, to, to get our homeworks and things of that nature, it becomes very difficult. And there are lecturers who actually assist in these times, but there are some that say that this is what the site that you're supposed to use and they won't help. And then with the Google Workspace, we actually give that five stars because it works no matter what. We've been using it this entire semester for this class. We've used it for the Google Docs, for the slides, for the form that we had to do for a questionnaire. So that's, yeah. Use of the information system. Moodle is a web-based learning content management system, which UB is using for online classes. Lectures place learning materials such as assignment, quizzes, tests, and reading material. As an e-learning tool, Moodle develops, developed a number of features now considered standard for learning management systems such as a calculator and a grade book. We also use emails. Emails are used to update students and teachers on any new messages the head of department wants to relay. Students can also email lecturers if they have a pressing matter or question. And we have the student portal. The student portal is where all the magic happens. Students go go here to sign up for classes at the beginning of each semester and can also view their account balance as well. And end of semester grades are posted on each student portal. How does the University of Belize utilize their web page? Uh, they use it to allow students to quickly access their student portal and online campuses, to provide upcoming news and announcements, to promote universities' mission, mission, vision, and core values, and to promote their courses and available programs. Business strategies, economical costs for the education provided. Uh, well, when we did our forum previously, some of us actually did a university versus the University of Belize. And I believe that majority of us actually would have mentioned that UB has one of the lowest, is one of the, the schools that cost the least, but has a very quality education. So this actually is a comp gives them an advantage. It gives them a, a competitive advantage. They have a diverse range of academic program and multi-locational. Suggestions of two st strategic information system for the University of Belize. Operation support system. In a university, data ex 
execution is performed by the user and which is later processed to generate useful data, data products and services like reports, which are utilized by different users. Management support system. The university requires precise data in a particular format to understand the goal of the organization. The University of Belize can implement a student decision support system where students can go for assistance when stopped doing assignments. And here we have the success and the failure of UB's information system. We differentiate between both Moodle and Xenigrade, and it also involves their successes and failures. One where we have Moodle, it has ease of access with the app or the website. This means that um, uh, Moodle it has become very successful because um, it is easily accessed through website and also for the phone users, you can also download the Moodle app and sign in right from your phone and click one link, go on the app, click the link for your classes and it opens up Zoom and here we are. Also for the success for Zenigrade, it is easy access to all your school information. And in Zenigrade, you can find um, your grade reports from last semester, your report cards and everything. You can find um, how much you owe the school and just basic student, um, student information. We have the failure for Moodle. Um, outstanding tuition cause you to be locked out. Um, as Natasha said, you um that is one downfall of Moodle because when you don't pay your school tuition, you can be locked out, and not all teachers are lenient enough to share that information with you via email. Then we have a failure for Zenigrade. Failure registration card system to log or malfunction. We know um every semester, what you'll be used to do in the past is you could have signed up for your classes from 12 o'clock in the night well early morning midnight and due to the amount of um students that ub has now um it caused the system to lag so now we find that early registration you would have to go from like eight o'clock in the morning and that consists of a downfall of centigrade So thank you for your attention. Let's um, sum up what all we talked about today. We have in conclusion, we learned that the University of Belize was created from five local institutions in August of the year 2000. Fast forward to, the, to today where Dr. Vincent Palacio was selected to be the institution's next president, which allows UB to deliver um, quality education at very high standards and affordable prices to the citizens of Belize. UB created a culture and environment that is technologically oriented and very diverse amongst the Belizean citizens. We also learned about UB's information system being Moodle that is used to access your courses as well as any grade that is known as the university's online registration portal. Additionally, Google Suite is being used by the university that is known as a collaborative software. We later explain that UB's website is used to attract potential students, provide news and upcoming events, as well as promote upcoming programs for students. UB also provides a range of diverse academic programs for students wishing to attend and caters to the entire country of Belize by having multiple locations. Then we mentioned about both the operational and managerial support systems that are suggestions for the University of Belize to invest in and finally differentiate amongst Moodle and Zenigrade by identifying both their successes and failures um, for the university. Thank you guys for your attention. Thank you, group. Um, so guys, the link for the form, the evaluation form is in the chat. You can go ahead and evaluate them while the last group sets up their slides.
Okay, Vanetta, you guys are free to take the yes, floor. Yes, Miss. Um, in a moment, Miss Marta is getting prepared to share the um, screen so that we could start. Awesome. Good night, everyone. Good night, class. Are we ready, Miss, or wait a few more minutes? You can go ahead. Um, those who haven't submitted the form as yet, you can continue doing so. Okay, then. Thank you. Good evening, class. Today, my group and I will be discussing the University of Belize organization features and technology currently being used and how they impact the success of the institution. Our group members are Martha Levy, Bonetta Gillett, Tiana Coleman, Dominique Gordon, and myself, Shanika Mendes. Next slide. Now to take a look at the mission statement for the University of Belize, it says that the University of Belize is a national autonomous and multi-location institution committed to excellence in higher education, research and service for a national development. In addition, their vision in their vision statement, UB speaks about fostering Belize's development by producing graduates who are socially and ecologically responsible, self-confident, entrepreneurial, and skilled communicators who are committed to using these skills provided and values for Belize's enrichment. Um, what these prove is that UB is reliant in the success of their students' education, background for complete utilization as the country of Belize continue to develop. Next slide, please. Um, being a student of the University of Belize before being enrolled, and when you're soul searching or trying to find an institution to match you, you might have already visited the website a few times. And the website is home to an array of information for access both locally and internationally some of which are but not limited to providing access to various downloadable forms. Uh, you are able to access information about the different, different programs UB offers and the cost for each program. You, as a student, you're able to access the campus um, information, their resources. You also get access to the UB email system and the student portal to name a few. If you go further into the website to search more, you can look at their newscasts, the student life on campus, the academic requirements, and much more. Next slide. A short analysis of UB is that 22 years ago, the institution was created by a merger of five institutions namely University College of Belize, Belize Technical College, Belize Teachers Training College, Belize Schools of Nursing, Belize College of Agriculture. And back then, the modality for teaching and the processing of application forms, payments, access to the learning materials were primarily done offline. It's all manual, hard copy, and in person. So it was quite timely and expensive having to travel up and down to the university to get into it. Next slide, please. Though over the years, different institutions were already established and UB is trying to compete with them and create a reputable uh, show front. We were already, as a company, we were already moving to an online platform, but due to COVID, 
as you or some of us that's completing our associates now might have experienced a rush into the online modality. And this new change has come with quite some few disadvantages and advantages for some because not all of us were well versed with the use of technology. And as we continue on with this presentation, we will look at UB's organization features and we'll see how the use of technology helped the de development of this organization for more of a success. Now we will take a look at UB's environment and culture with Tiana. Good night, class. Good night, Miss. Thank you, Shanika, for that introduction. When we look at the environment of UB, they pride themselves in providing a comfortable environment for lecturers, students, and administration. Tonight, we're going to focus on both the intangible and tangible aspects of the environment. And when we say that, that means it focuses on all the factors, the organization, the infrastructure, the activities, and they pay keen importance to innovation of technology. The University of Belize has several environments. We have the Belize City Campus, the Belmapan Campus, Punta Gorda Campus, Central Farm Campus, and of course, our online campus. Technology environment plays key importance in the mental health of students where they provide gyms, they provide libraries, they provide different training areas, and they try their best to have this online as well. We now look at the culture. UB culture mainly focuses on giving back to the community. They engage in cleanup campaigns where they give back to the community, to elders of the community, especially in each area of their physical campus. They do not limit themselves to only giving back to the community, but they also give back to staff members. Um, when we look at the business culture, that can be defined as the set of shared attitudes, the goals, the values and the practices and the overall characterization of the university, what it's all about, what it has to offer. So when you go dive into it, there is the admissions, the academic advising and policies, the academic honesty, and the culture reflects overall policies of the business. Are the lecturers or are the students abiding by these policies? And these policies, likewise, environment, make use of technology. And as technology or management information changes, so does these aspects of University of Belize. We now, we're now going to look into the structure and my group member, Mr. Dominique, will give you a better insight on that. Thank you. Good night, good night. UB's organizational structure is classified as a professional bureaucracy. This is because they focus on the standardization of skills, wherein the course coordinators and lecturers are in charge of formulating and providing access to materials to their students on their own. And they provide these materials uh, through emails, through the Moodle um, webpage, or through the Moodle site, sorry, and they have different features on these sites where wherein students can get real-time information and access to those materials. Next slide. As it is for the structure of the University of Belize, uh, the, the, hierarch the hierarchical structures uh, has the UB president at the top of the food chain, if you must say, and he's Dr. Vincent Palacio, followed by the UB Vice President, Dr. Charlene Enriquez Sabre. And then we have the UB ERI Steering Committee and the UB ERI Director. And the UB ERI just simply stands for uh, the University of Belize Environmental Research Institute. And they focus primarily on Belize's natural resources, for example, Sorry, I muted. The barrier reef, I was stating, they focus on natural resources such as those because it's the largest in the Western Hemisphere and how it supports uh, tourism and agriculture in Belize. So this is what that group and that committee 
focuses on focus on and followed by that would be research fellows and scientific program managers with their phds and research fellows and then you have administrative assistant and the finance officer and that finance officer or the director of finance is mr ian sangster followed by specialists with their masters and research assistants next slide please the business processes now the business process includes but is not limited to tuition payments admission process and drop out of class and other additional things inclusive of that payments are done via bank deposit and stop and stops can be found on Zenigrade. Forms can also be downloaded from the website in a PDF format for manual use. Now, to elaborate further, uh, when we go on Zengrid, we can see the interactive forms. There's an array of interactive forms there for, uh, that are user-friendly for students and in which they, it can also be utilized by members of UB's accounts or record staff, no? Um, whereby you can download those forms like the drop ad forms, the withdrawal forms, you can download your course list um, and other and there are other forms that are accessible uh, in real time for students. Uh, also, students wishing to see their, their grades, their end of term grades can access everything there in terms of payments, their invoices, they can access that as well in Zenigrade, no? Um, when registering for classes, all of this is done through that platform. Uh, also, in terms of the bank deposits, you if you have uh, online banking, UB makes it very feasible for you to pay online, not having to go physically to pay for um, to pay your school fees. You can simply do that from your from your household uh, with any bank, with almost any bank, I should say. So that make that's a easy access that you be provides on a for, uh, through a business process, no platform with the with the usage of information systems, and that basically sums up the business processes of the University of Belize. Next slide. Good night, everybody. Um, so now moving into the politics section of the presentation. Um, so politics, when it comes to politics within an organization, it can have either a positive or a negative effect on the organization. Uh, one of the research papers that we have attached to our PowerPoint presentation titled The Four Types of Organizational Politics states that it can be potentially destructive, a destructive force or it can help an organization achieve its, its strategic goal. If we look at the, the, um, the picture that we have here, um, it gives you four sections where we have the woods, the high ground, the weeds, and the rocks. Basically a classification of the four organizational politics. We have on the individual section on an individual level and an informal level is considered the weeds. Now, when we look at this, we can use as an example, a nonprofit organization. Um, let's say where you have someone of authority um, making decisions and you, you'd have other staff probably viewing them underperforming, um, doing unethical, having unethical behavior. Now, because it's a nonprofit organization, their, their reputation is highly regarded. So, the weeds would be considered the, the staff that is below them that will try to ensure that the performance of the company does not suffer because of this one person, this one individual in, in power. Now, if we move on to the rocks, that is an individual level as well, but it's more of a formal level. So in this area, it will be somebody of authority, a supervisor, a manager. This would be where they have the power to make decisions, but they are not complying with the team members that can ultimately affect the organization and that is where we we see that it can negatively affect the organization now we have the high ground where it, it 
involves the organizational systems and is a formal source of power. So here we look at policies, we look at guidelines um, of the organization. Then we have the woods, which is also the organizational level, but it's more of an informal source of power. A good example of this would be um, if we consider probably like the airlines. This is known, sorry, the woods would be considered more of not policies that are written and need to be abided by, but more of what is expected, what is the norm in the company to have the company succeed. So if you look at, again, at the um, example of the airlines, um, if, if you go on a flight, one of the main things that you want to look at is the, the flight attendants in, in your flight. Um, so you want to see them smiling. That is something that is of norm that you expect, but it's not necessarily in a handbook for them. Um, moving on now to management decisions. So for the University of Belize, it's a national university. Therefore, it falls under the government of Belize. With this in mind, the university is managed by a board of trustees. Decisions are made in terms of finance, registration, activities, scholarship, aid, anything that you can think of that needs, decisions need to be made that will ultimately provide for the success of the organization and provide for the continuance of the organization. All these informations are made using the information systems like Xenegrade, the e-application systems. We use the Google Suite as well, video conferencing for all of these to be to take place. We have the board of trustees, which adds to the management decisions. So it clearly states, it clearly shows that it's not one person, but it's a collective effort to ensure that the organization continues. Moving on, I pass it to Vanetta, who will go a little bit more in detail with the apps, the applications used, the information systems used, and a basic wrap up. Good night, everyone. So now we'll take a look at Moodle, um, Zenigrade, and Google Suite in a more in-depth format so that we could get a better understanding as to how exactly the University of Belize um, takes these different information system into play for the students as well as for the staff of the um of this particular institution. So as you all know, at this point in time, Moodle is a learning platform system based on our experience. We know that both students and lecturers have access to this platform along with the staff, like the working staff that keeps the um, system flowing. So these will be the um, people's in the records office and the ODL office um, that work behind the scenes to um, actually push these different um, information system forward for us to have access to it and the working use of it. As well, um, we see that this information system facilitates the process of learning at the University of Belize. Lecturers have the capability to create asynchronous and self-paced lectures, quizzes, tests, assignments, um, and various submissions. With this, we tend to see that there, while there is like this one big platform for um for us to learn from, there are different ways that this one platform can be shifted and molded based on the course that is being offered at that specific time. So in this course, for um, for example, we see that um our lecturers have um, self-paced classes where they, you actually go in and you sit at a Moodle, you watch the um, interactive slides and then you get the information from it. However, other teachers tend to um, look at it from a different perspective and they don't have interactive slides. They have regular lessons that you go and you read the notes that have been pre-prepared for you. Um, so there's this give and take with Moodle, you get like you, uh, based on what you actually want, then um, that is what you put out or what the lecturer put out so that they could give the best information um, when um, presenting their classes for their students. Um, with Moodle, of course, like everything else, like every other um, information system, we see that they have um, certain issues that um, may arise. Some people can get locked out if you don't remember your password. But more than just that, um, it comes with um, little glitches and, and, and other stuff. We see in classes where lecturers um, would want you to access the um, 
lockdown browser a lot of the times the lockdown browser tend to give problems and in some instances there was one that actually caused like a virus on your computers so those are things that would negatively affect this particular information system but as everything else, we see the university trying to make um, better efforts in terms of what they are actually providing to their students and making our experience here at the university the best possible that there is in Belize. Next slide, please. We move on to Zeningrade. And this is yet another heavily used information system being utilized by the University of Belize at this point in time. Um, Zenigrade is a software used for registration, enrollment, and processing tracking of students who are a part of the university student body. It also creates a space for students who choose to apply to the university um, online. With the installation of Zenigrade, it creates an ease in when it comes to registration and paying bills. Um, for me personally, being abroad, um, it's a little bit difficult in terms of paying my school fees. So speaking from a personal level, recently the University of Belize um, created a process that you could pay with the use of a credit card. So for me, instead of having to send money back home to Belize and then have that being paid, um in that manner like that is a lengthy process but now i could just use my credit card and pay directly to zenigrade and instantaneously i receive an email as soon as the pro the um payment has been my credit card has been processed i get an email to put my ub email address as well as the email address that is connected with the university my non-ub email address to show that i have um paid and it automatically shows as well on the zenigrade page that this amount has been paid um so that create an ease in terms of how i access um the payments and how it makes my life much more easier um similarly the zenigrade and the registration format in terms of not being able to be in belize or people who are in belize but not necessarily close to a um, registration area so say for example um if you're registered at the university of belize campus um, in belize city and you live somewhere in Orange Walk, you would have to travel all that way from Orange Walk or Corozal to go to Belize City to then register. And uh, being a part of that era where you had to go and register in person, like you would have to go and wait in these ridiculous long lines. And then um, by the time your turn comes, if you weren't there early, the classes would be filled. So this online platform gives a ease in terms of um, accessing this registration list as well as having um, it more user friendly in terms of what you can access and how you access it. It also gives people outside of Belize the potential of going back to school um, there within um, the University of Belize. So it's not just um, looking at Belize itself, but looking further than that, um, people who are from Belize and want to um, pursue their, their education back home. This also gives it gives us that opportunity to do that as well. Next slide, please. Um, so looking at the Google Suite, which is um, basically a cloud co collaborative software, um, as you become a student of the university, you receive a school email address. This email address is actually Google based with the access um, to the email address. We also get, get access to a cloud collaborative services, which include Google Docs, Google Sheets, Forms, Google Slides, and much more. This allows for students to collectively collaborate on group projects and assignments similar to this one that we are doing right now. Um, my group members and I collectively came up with this slide together. So while um, I had access to it, um, Dominique, Shanika, Miss Marta, um, and Tiana, all of us had access to this one slide and we could um, put our information into it at the same time. So it's giving us this collaboration without necessarily being there in the same space at the same time. We get to work on it when we have free time. Um, we also get, get access to 
um, Google Meets with this email address. Now, at the height of the pandemic, Google Meets was one of the mainly used video conferencing tools that the university was offering. We have seen in this semester that the university is moving a bit away from um, Google Meets and moving towards Zoom, which also creates that um, video conferencing feed. So that is yet another um, information system that we see the university moving towards to yet again create this, this better environment, a um, environment that is moving towards um, making the online experience much better. So next slide, please. At this point, I'll do a brief um, overview of what exactly we covered here. So we see the culture, the environment, and the structure of the university are all changeable and reliable to the, in, to the MIS and technology. As these technology advances, so does the University of Belize. We also touch base that the business process of the university includes their admission function by implementing and utilizing various information system to complete the task with efficiency and effectiveness. To name a few of these information systems utilized by the university are the ones that I just went over, Moodle, Zenigrid, Google Suite, Zoom, and much more that are behind the scenes that the staff utilize. And when it comes to the politics, we see that politics in the workplace can be a bit difficult to balance. Um, it is essential in ensuring the decision making process is beneficial to both the organization and the employees. So we see both working hand in hand to give us the students a better um a better feel in terms of when we interact with the university staff itself. Um, so this is the end of our presentation. As you can see, these are our references that we had used in creating this um, lovely presentation for you. If you have any questions, this is the time now to do so. Thank you, guys. Thank you, uh, groups one and two. You finished just in the nick of time. I try not to keep you guys over class time. So we're going to end here tonight. And when we meet on next week, I'll be giving you the feedback. Um, guys, please don't forget to give this group their evaluation because their grade is now in your hands. Very good job, all groups. All right. No, just... Good night, everyone. Good night. Um, Miss? Yes. Uh, just a quick question. When was the um their lit review due again? Because I'm not quite sure if I missed it. Oh, I that's to... uh, at the end of the semester when you submit your final document. Okay. And when do you think we can set up maybe a review with you to make sure that we're going? Um, um right well, time? next week when we meet, we can use the class time to go over a portion of the class time to go over. Okay. What okay. Yeah. No problem. Thank you. Sure. No problem. Good night. Good night, everyone.